feels like every time I win, I still lose. My mother used to say, the universe doesn't give without taking. I'm going to give you the thing you want most, Barry. But it won't matter, because you'll never truly be happy. Trust me, I know you. And I'm always right. I still win. I'm not coming back, Cisco. I can't. What? What's happening to me? I just feel like I made a mistake. I should have saved my mom. Right now, Central City doesn't need you to be Henry Allen's son. It needs you to be the Flash. Central City believes in the Flash. And so do I. Who the hell are you? My name is Jay Garrick, and your world is in danger. We were never enemies, Barry. I'm not the thing you hate. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So, ton of Comic-Con trailers to get through. I just, I cut this down to the new footage from The Flash. Although technically the footage that we just saw was old footage that they just kind of like redid to make it look like something new. So let's get going. Zoom is coming. So I'm gonna start with like the really big announcements that they confirmed, it, you know, in case you weren't following me on Twitter. I live tweeted a, a lot of these big things, but, but most of it were things that I've already talked about, like new characters that, that I said that were already coming and ideas like the multiverse. But the big thing is that Zoom is the big bad. If you haven't read the comics, Professor Zoom was the villain of the first season. That's Eobard Thawne. He was pretending to be Hunter Wells. Matt Lanter was the original version of Eobard Thawne, who then, you know, like sucked in the DNA and became Harrison Wells. So, you know, Tom Cavanaugh playing two different characters along with this other actor here. It gets a little timey-wimey, I know. They're going to continue to do that in season two. Tom Cavanaugh will be playing dual roles, although he, he didn't really specify as to how that's going to work. Like, he's not going to be the exact same versions of his characters that he was in season one because he, he died. He, he was erased from existence. He was erased from time. Most of these new characters, though, if not all of them, are coming from Earth 2. That's, that's multiverse territory. I, I was so happy when they said that they're using Earth 2 to surface a lot of the new villains and a lot of the new heroes. Most notably, Jay Garrick and Wally West. Let's talk about Zoom a little bit. So if, if you're not familiar with the comics, there's Professor Zoom and then there's Zoom, com two completely different characters. Professor Zoom is like the classic version of the Verse Flash, the Silver Age version of the character. He was created to be the main antagonist for Barry Allen whenever Barry Allen became the Flash during the Silver Age of comics. When Wally West took over as the main Flash after Crisis on Infinite Earths, they wanted a new villain. So, so they basically updated the Professor Zoom character. He just became Zoom. That was Jeff Johns, and it was also a different character too. It was Hunter Zolomon. If you watched some of my Flash Season 1 videos, I talked about how they blended the Wally West run in the comics with the Barry Allen run. So for instance, Professor Zoom on the TV show is kind of an amalgam of Zoom and Professor Zoom in the comics, like two different reverse Flashes. The difference between those two characters, Professor Zoom was usually painted as, as just like a, a pretty crazy villain who just wanted to kill Barry Allen, erase him from time. Zoom, on the other hand, got severely injured in a big Gorilla Grodd attack, so he got really pissed, tried to use the cosmic treadmill, and in the resulting accident, Zolomon's body got, kind of phased out with time. So the way he travels, like his speed flows from a different place. Zoom exists out of time, so he like he moves between the spaces in time. It's, it's, a, it's kind of a weird concept, but basically he's faster than the Flash because he manipulates time. He doesn't manipulate the speed force. So Professor Zoom, super genius from the future. Zoom, Wally West's friend from the present who gets twisted and tries to push Wally West so that he gets faster and faster so that he can save everyone, which kind of sounds like what Eobard Thawne was doing on the show this season. So, you know, like I said, blending a lot of different reverse flashes from the comics. The thing that made Zoom a villain is because he did really crazy things. So Wally West in the comics is married to Linda Park. Zoom travels back in time to try and kill her. And she's actually, she's a character that we saw in season one. She'll, she'll probably be back at some point. So I know that's really confusing, but the big takeaway is that Zoom is way faster than any of the Flashes and Professor Zoom. That's why in the trailer we hear Harrison Wells or, or the voice of Eobard Thawne or whoever it is that's talking, Tom Cavanaugh's voice, saying that there is something that is worse than him. Trailers always lie a little bit, so he could be talking about something else, but it's totally possible that Tom Cavanaugh is not playing the Zoom character, but I, I, I kind of hope that he is. 
the figure we see running in the trailer, he, he looks blue, but it's really, I think it's the Black Racer. The Black Racer in the comics is a completely different concept. It signals the death of a speedster. It gets into the idea of the negative speed force. It, it gets way more complicated. So I think the TV show is going to simplify things. Basically, if you're one of the Flashes, if, if you're like part of the Flash family and you see a Black Racer, it means you're getting ready to die. So it's, it's like really big shit. Of all the things they confirmed at the Flash panel for season two, Andrew Kreisberg, the, the showrunner, said that they were most excited about Zoom. So when Tom Cavanaugh says, I'm going to give you the thing that you want most, I think he's talking about Earth 2. He, he's talking about like alternate timelines, alternate realities. Barry wants to change things. Obviously, if he were to make it to Earth 2, he would see a different version of events had played out. So people that are dead on Earth 1, which we'll just call like the, the main Earth for the show, might not be dead on Earth 2. But onto the next big thing, Jay Garrick. So they've already cast the character. He's actually a, a younger version of Jay Garrick. He's not like an old Silver Fox or anything like that. But if you've read the Earth 2 comics, then they, they kind of reimagined the Jay Garrick character. Just like all the other characters on the show, he's going to be an amalgam of all the versions of Jay Garrick, for, you know, from all the way back to the Golden Age to the current age. They didn't say which episode he was going to appear in first, but Zoom will definitely appear in the first episode. So we might also see Jay Garrick in that first episode. Wally West is another question mark too. They confirmed he's coming on the show. We just, we just don't know how. So you kind of see where this is going. You know, by the end of the season or, you know, maybe even before then, we'll see a three on one Flash versus Zoom fight. Jay Garrick, Wally West, and Barry Allen versus Zoom. They unofficially confirmed Killer Frost, but they didn't say whether she was going to be from Earth 2 or if it was going to be R. Caitlin. They, they kind of danced around it a little bit. Daniel Painterbaker just said she couldn't wait to play that character again, and, and they kind of smiled a little bit. Like, okay, yeah, we're probably going to see Killer Frost, but they didn't say how they were going to surface her. Like, if it was going to be some twist in our version of Caitlyn, or if it was going to be the alternate reality Caitlyn. Cisco also pretty, pretty much confirmed to be coming vibe. They didn't say exactly how they were going to visualize his powers, but it was going to look like, you know, you know how he's remembering the alternate reality where he got killed? It's going to look a lot like that. So what's probably going to be happening is, is that Zoom, as the villain, is going to be changing the timeline, and Cisco is going to be able to sense when things have been changed. Next new character, Patty Spivet, totally confirmed to be coming on the show. She's going to work in the police department. She'll be like Joe West's new partner. She'll be replacing Eddie. I've already done a video for her, so I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. She was really big in the New 52. She was Barry's girlfriend for, for most of the New 52. The really cool thing about her character is, is that she became a female speedster. I, I don't know that they're going to do that on the show. Probably not, but they might. Aside from that, they just said they're bringing on a couple new rogues. Obviously, I, I've already talked about Mirror Master and Dr. Alchemy. Those are the only ones that they've confirmed, but I'm, I'm guessing they'll probably be like one or two others too. They're going to do a Golden Glider, Captain Cold episode early in the season. Like it's going to mostly focus on them and less on the heroes. Wentworth Miller is an, is an amazing actor. He could lead his own show. So, I mean, they're, they're doing it for that reason, just because he's so amazing and it's such a great character. But they're also using the first half of the season on The Flash and Arrow to set up Legends of Tomorrow. Captain Cold, we know, is going to be a big character on Legends of Tomorrow. So they're, they're probably going to feature the Legends characters in really big ways, just, just to try and get everyone aware of them. That means we'll also be seeing Hawk Girl a lot. They, did, they also confirmed Hawk Man, but I'm going to talk about him during my Legends of Tomorrow video. The really like the biggest takeaways from The Flash Season 2 are lots of time travel, faster, scarier villain in Zoom. I mean, they're, they're going to change him a little bit from the comics. Multiple speedsters and more new characters from the comics. So what I'm going to do is, is that, like they, they did the exact same thing for Arrow. They, they announced that Oliver's going to become the Green Arrow. He's getting a new suit. Damian Dark is the main villain. Anarchy is going to be like the lesser villain. So I'll do a separate video for that. Be sure to subscribe to get it. There's just like a whole bunch of trailers that I need to get through. Because there are so many, what I'm probably going to do is like first thing tomorrow morning, I'll do a Deadpool trailer video, then I'll do Arrow Season 4, and, th and then I'll get through the rest. I'll, I'll explain what the schedule is going to be. I know a lot of you are asking about the panel footage from The Flash and all that other stuff. They, they basically did like a three-hour block where they just brought out the cast of each show one at a time. Because they let me backstage, they didn't let me record it, so I'm still trying to get some, some panel footage, but, but essentially, like all the stuff I explained is what they did. It was, it was really like 15 minutes for each show. They were just like, these are the new villains. These are the new characters. We're going to have a lot of fun. Bam. See you later. So everything that happened during the Flash panel, like I, I said in this video, like all those new characters, the new big bad, really like the Zoom announcement was the big thing. If you like the Flash in season one, it's going to melt your brain in season two, especially if you have read the comics. So while you wait for all the rest of those trailer videos to drop, you can click here for my breakdown of the Batman vs Superman trailer, like the new trailer and the Suicide Squad footage. And you can click here for that panel. 
Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tomorrow.